Hey guys, what's up? And it is something new here at Pool Shed Games. Uh, we haven't done something quite like this before in a video, um, but it's something I've wanted to do and I've hoped to have gotten the chance to do before, and this is the first chance, so here we go. First of all, this is sort of a promotional video. Um, I'm going to be talking about a new board game coming out, or hopefully coming out. It's coming to Kickstarter uh, this month, and the guys over at Tempest Tome, which are the company that are, t are trying to put out this game, asked me to talk a little bit about it and preview it here on the channel. Uh, so I said yes, because I think it's great to get a chance to preview a, you know, talk about a game that's not out yet. Um, and it, to me, it looks really cool. Um, it's called Necronauts, and I'm going to put a link to their website in uh, the description of the video where you guys can go and check it out. Uh, there's some great pictures of what the miniatures are going to look like and like the board, kind of what you're going to get in the box. So to begin, let's talk a little about what Necronauts is. According to the, to the crew over at Tempest Tome on the website, it's basically a strategic competitive board game uh, with miniatures in the vein of Descent, Journeys in the Dark. And what that means is if you have played Descent before, um, you have two teams of players. One team is going to be the Necronauts in this game, which are just your basic humans that have gone into the realms of death to attempt to gain information on mortality, and I'm assuming you're looking for occult rites and rituals to learn how to become immortal, to tame mortality. Um, so that's pretty cool, and it's, like, the pictures of the minis that they have on their website, it looks sci-fi steampunkish with uh, the way the models, the way the little game pieces look. Um... There's sort of a retro sci-fi, it looks like to me almost, which I think this stuff looks great. And like I said, I'll link to it below so you guys can look at it on your own. Um, it's for two to four players, and basically you have the two teams. You have Necronauts, and then you have a player who, or players, which from the sounds of it, that take on the deities of death. And from the way it sounds, at the beginning of the game, one player, or whatever, uh, the, the deities of death player will pick which deity of death they want to play. And they are kind of like the overlord in Descent, where they will get different monsters, uh, different monsters depending on what, uh, you know, what deity they have picked. They will also get uh, unique spell cards and abilities to use against the players as the Necronaut team tries to uncover the secrets of their lair. Now, uh, again, it is as you start as a Deity of Death player, I think you are not as strong, but as you grow and as the game progresses, you become stronger, and it becomes easier to, you know, well, not so much easier to defeat the Necronaut players, because as they go, they're going to be collecting occult knowledge and, you know, getting more powerful to to defeat you, get out of your realm, and get back to the real world. Um, as a Necronaut player, this is cool to me. I, I like this idea. You get a squad of guys. In Descent, you only get one guy. Um, in level 7 from Privateer Press, you get one guy. In Necronauts, you get a squad. Um, and it says that you can customize and equip your squad however you want. So it makes it sound like it's very customizable to play style. So let's, you know, if you're very aggressive, um, you can equip that way, it sounds like. Or if you're more of a sit-back, tactical, you know, shoot, move, take things into consideration, it's the same there. And your squads, if there's more than one player on the Necronaut team, they can work together. So that's pretty cool, because uh, if you have one guy who, say, play style is, I'm going to tank up and go uh, try to take down the baddies, you have another guy that's, well, I want to be kind of uh, more rounded, more jack-of-all-trades-y. They can work together to make that happen. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting to me is, that they talk about in this game is the fact that death, death is permanent. So, whereas in, like, Descent, if your character dies, there's a chance you can come back. 
Or um, another good example of a game like this is uh, Elder Sign. Or if your character dies, you get another one. You don't get to bring your character back, but you get another one. It doesn't sound like it's that way in this game. It sounds like if you're, one of your squad members dies, he's they're, they're done. They're down and out for the count. So that makes it a little bit more risky. It's kind of like a roguelike uh, PC game. So all of that is cool. I like the idea of going across realms into these, these deities of death's realm and uh, working on stealing their secrets. So let's talk a little bit about the features of the game. Which I am just giving you basically the bullet points from their website, which you can go check out more in depth. They're also on uh, Twitter, Tempest Home, and they're on Facebook, Tempest Tome. Um, one of the nice things is this game, it says the base game will come with 45 plus high quality miniatures, which includes the Necronaut squads and monsters. And they're 28 millimeter scale, so even if you get the game, and you say you want to use the models for something else, like in an RPG or uh, like some other tabletop game, you can do that as well. Uh, they're unpainted, so you can paint them up yourself, or you can play with them just the way they are um, out of the box. And basically, it says that um, the, the play will change pretty much every time. And something I found with games like this is that is very true. Yeah, you sit down to play one of these games, like even Descent... Um, and since this follows in that that um, genre, you sit down to play, and I mean, depending on what deity the deity of death player picks, depending on what your squad is of necronauts that you pick, the game is going to be different each time you sit down to play it. And uh, they also say a simple resolution of die rolls, which is great because sometimes things can get bogged down in, in dice mechanics. So that's that's nice. Um, lastly. The thing I'm gonna I want to talk a little bit. They they have three. I don't know if these are the three deities that come in the base game, uh, or if these are just like examples previews. But they have three of them up, and uh, one is looks like the your typical undead. Uh, like there's undead hounds and like a mummy looking thing and a tomb guardian. There's a uh, an entropy themed one, which you know, decay and 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 you nasty goopy stuff like that. The one I think looks the coolest, and I would probably want to play as the uh, deities of death player is Gorkuk, the Mistress of Massacres. Um, it's a really cool looking concept art piece they have up on their website, and I'm willing to bet <laughs> that these the monsters that this this thing gets are just pretty nasty. Um, it's it, they, One of them is called a flaying troll, and it looks like its head is just a giant, like, mouth that will, you know, eat you and rend you to pieces. And there's a floating bloody skull. So, all in all, that's pretty cool. Um, if you visit uh, Board Game Geek, they have a section up there. Also, check out their website. It is www.tempesthome.com forward slash necronauts. I will also link to it in the description below. Um, as I said, they reached out and asked us to do a preview for this game. Um, until I talked to them on Twitter, I hadn't heard of this game. But after I've looked at the, um, after I've looked at the website, read what they had to say about it, checked out their Twitter and their Facebook... I think it looks like it's going to be a pretty cool game. I'm probably going to look into picking it up at some point over the summer. Hopefully the, kick, the Kickstarter um, campaign is successful and they get the funding that they need to make the game happen. Again, the Kickstarter comes this month, January 2015. Uh, I don't see a date here for when that is going to happen. Um, but if I see one, I'll let you guys know in an update. Uh, like it, hopefully, uh, like I said, this is something new to the channel. We've never done this before, but it's something that I've wanted to do because I think it's cool to help um, gaming companies get the word out there about their product and their new games coming out. And I feel that as a community and as a content creator, that's a privilege and something that I can can do. 
So uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, uh, leave us a like, a comment, check out TempestTomes.com for their game, and we will see you next time here at Poolshed Games.